great fun original production. Please sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, Dread Fun here with another one of my video uploads. Uh, yeah, if you've been paying attention, I've been doing these uh, skull reconstructions uh, recently. I've done uh, an ancient human. I uh, recently did uh, Neanderthal, and this is another Neanderthal I'm doing. It's the same skull as the last Neanderthal, literally redrawing it using the same measurement and proportions. As you'll see, I'm, I'm throwing down the pencils, getting all those lovely, uh, the eye socket, uh, the zygomatic arch, the teeth. Uh, in this one, what, it's going to be a bit different than the other Neanderthal. Um, instead of using hu known human proportions and human musculature, I'm using uh, more of an ape style approach. So what I'm trying to do, and you'll see there as I'm adding in the muscles, they're much larger than uh, the muscles I added on the Neanderthal, which were in themselves rather large. Uh, the nose right there, I actually just uh, sort of, it is protruding, but more in line with uh, the actual cheek, kind of like you would find with an ape. Still, I have to follow the actual, um, uh, that area of the nose, that nasal cavity there. So you can't really make it much bigger. I've definitely made the lips larger and uh, definitely focusing more on, uh, again, primate type features. Because uh, if you haven't uh, checked this out, I, I suggest you do. It's a video and a book by uh, Danny Vanderomini. I think I'm pronouncing that right. It's uh, Them and Us, where he puts forth the idea that uh, Neanderthals were uh, predators of humans and that Neanderthals were actually more of a primate than a human and would have more primate features than they would have human features. Uh, that thing inspired me and that's kind of where I'm going with this video. I am, uh, you know, I'm, again you'll notice here as I'm putting it in, I'm, uh, I'm making it look more like an ape. It's the same skull that uh, you'll see in my other Neanderthal just uh, I'm, I'm adding a, more of a like an ape covering instead of a human Caucasian covering. So in this case, uh, the skin tone is going to be darker. The, the hair will be darker. Uh, overall, it's going to look more like a primate. The reason why I was doing this is I imagined that uh, this in turn would look like a Bigfoot or a Sasquatch or something like that. And uh, the end result, uh, as you see me adding the gray tones in for the, 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 the skin, just before I go ahead and start adding the, the darker tones for the hair, doesn't really look like a Bigfoot, but maybe it does. I, I find he looks more like uh, something you find in Planet of the Apes. Uh, maybe Caesar, I don't know. Uh, but uh, it was a lot of fun to do. Uh, like I said, a lot of folks, uh, they, they view Neanderthals and, uh, as more of a primatal type species than they would uh, human species. And then you've got a lot of people that are on the other side of the fence. And they think that uh, all the cosmetic parts that I'm adding to this picture, they, they believe that they would be more of a human type look. I'm not saying either side's right or wrong. I am not an expert in that. I'm just taking uh, whatever... Uh, information I can and and trying to, to to create something original and that's what I'm doing here so it was just a fun little project uh, I'm, I'm again just taking that old Neanderthal skull which to me definitely has much more primate characteristics and uh, I go ahead and try to make it look like a primate uh, keeping in mind that uh, the Neanderthal itself definitely is bipedal uh, whereas primates are quadrupedal uh, the Neanderthals uh, definitely had tool use. Uh, my, quite a few scientists believe, and I think it's been proven that it's true, that they had the use of fire. And they probably were cooking their food. A lot of folks, you know, think that we genetically bred with them. I know Dr. Todd Disatel believes that the, the genetic, uh, I guess what you would call it, the, the genes that are showing up in modern humans that are Neanderthal are actually from an interbreeding event. Uh, they're just some sort of uh, correlation or probably, I mean, much more scientific -y sounding than that. Like I said, this is a lot of fun to do. I mean, you know, I really can't tell you how much fun it is to, to do this kind of stuff and set yourself up with a project uh, with an end result that you're hoping to get and come up with something a little bit different. 
So again, I don't know, is this what you think Bigfoot might look like? Is Bigfoot a Neanderthal? I don't know, but uh, here's my attempt at drawing a Neanderthal skull and giving it primate features. Uh, again, you know, a more, more dominant muscle, more, uh, more twists and turns in the face, more, you know, there's that apes have that look. So it was a lot of fun to do. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, pass the video around. Dread Fun out. This has been a DreadFun.com production. Thanks for watching.